Hi, I'm Jose Abel, civil engineer, and today we are here at Universidad Los Andes in the civil engineering laboratory. So this is where I teach my computational methods class. Students can gather around these tables and uh, work on some programming stuff in groups. So uh, this lab hosts, well, it's a rainy day today here in Santiago. What you can see behind me now popping is my HPC cluster. So it's my cluster of computers, gaming computers, that is designed to run open seas with as much performance as, as I can get out of it. So I want to give you a little tour of this cluster today and show you, because I'm doing some work on it to expand it, so I'm going to take the opportunity to show you a little bit of what's going on here. So a computer cluster is a collection of computers that work together for a common goal. So uh, what, it, what you see here is uh, gaming rigs, essentially. So these are all uh, the compute nodes of the cluster, and these are uh, meant to run OpenSea, so be as fast as they can in running OpenSea. So uh, each one of them is, has a Ryzen 9 5950X processor. Uh, you can see the interior of one of these over here. And uh, so I, I chose that processor and I chose gaming configurations because uh, these uh, allow me to go up to five gigahertz of uh, speed. So I have them set up to be working like a computer cluster. So you can see down here, I have uh, very fast switches. So these are QNAP switches. Each of these cables has uh, 2.5 gigabytes per second, gigabits per second, sorry. And we have these fast cables, SFP plus cables, which, which are capable of uh, transfer rates of up to 10 gigabytes, gigabits per second. And uh, all the computers are connected to the central switch. Now when you log into the cluster, you log into this node, which is labeled Esmeralda, which is the name of the cluster. It's named after the ship Esmeralda that fought in the Chilean Pacific War. And so in, in order of that ship, we have like a nautic thing going on. So anyway, this is the login node of the cluster, and it's also in charge of coordinating tasks, coordinating all tasks and assigning resources to whatever you want to compute. And uh, one of the things you can see here is one of these SFP plus cables goes into here. So I have 10 gigabyte, gigabit per second connectivity going in here. And this one also has a one terabyte uh, M2 uh, disk, a very fast disk there. But now we've added uh, a new node, which is going to take care of all the storage. So this one has 16 terabytes of storage that's uh, arranged in a RAID 5. So I have like 10 gigabytes, terabytes, sorry, of storage uh, in there, which is very fast. And this one is also connected using an SFP plus cable for maximum performance. And uh, then we're going to have over here, Ikike is going to be our visualization node. And over here, there's a little dashboard. This is not always here, but right now I'm monitoring the activity of the cluster because I'm, I'm expanding it. But this is net data, and it allows me to take a look at everything from temperature to network usage, disks, etc., throughout all throughout the cluster. So, of course, the, this cluster runs Linux. I'm using Ubuntu 2204 Desktop Edition because this is a gaming, these are gaming rigs. So it's, it's easy to, to plug in a screen sometimes and do some maintenance tasks in this. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, the configuration a little bit later. So here, I'm getting ready to install uh, the operating system on one of the compute nodes. You can see here, this is one of the typical compute nodes. We'll go ahead and remove this label over here. I bumped into the ventilator. So this is liquid cooled. It's uh, Ryzen 9 5950X. And you can see we have uh, four RAM sticks for a grand total of 64 megabytes, uh, sorry, gigabytes of RAM. And I have, uh, what is it, the equivalent of a SOC for a GPU. There's no GPU in this because we don't do any GPU computing. You don't see a disk because there's a little M2 drive behind that shield over there. And uh, that's a 500 gigabyte, which is basically for OS and a, a little bit uh, if, if we need fast access uh, writes. But uh, everything is stored elsewhere. In, in the computer cluster. And uh, I'm setting up the partitions here for this compute node and uh, should be ready in a while. This is going to be node 
number 16 of the cluster. I have some help back there. So I finished up with the setup. Uh, the, com the whole physical configuration changed. Uh, I have the main node here. It used to be over there, but now I need it next to this machine that's cracking, the one with the discs. And uh, I added a couple of new nodes. So there's node 13, this one is new. And all of these over here are compute nodes, all these with numbers, all the way up to 18. So there's 18 compute nodes right now. And Ikike over here is giving me some issues with the installation of the OS, so I'm going to take it up to my office and uh, see what's going on. Those computers down there are with GPUs, and those are not part of my work, but I give them access through my cluster. And uh, yeah, so it's been, it's been fun installing these things. I have to do some cable management. I will probably not get around doing that, but I'll try. Uh, I can see right now that there's one of the one of the computers that's having some connectivity issues. This is the last one, number seven. I, so I guess that's Ikike. That's the that's this one. So if I unplug it here, I think yeah, that that light turns off. So it's this one that is actually on, but it's not with any connectivity. Anyway, so this is uh, the the big cluster. And uh, we're going to be doing some benchmarking now and some more s simulation and uh, research. Okay, guys, so make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to be making some videos in the future uh, to show you how I use this on the software side of things, how I prepare open seas models to run in this cluster and, and what kind of performance you can expect out of a system like this. So see you next time.